Okay, here we are. It's the end of the conference. Twitter LA and I have Lonnie Love. I am like so freaking lo lucky. I can't even speak. I'm so <laughs> lucky. She was up there on the entertainment panel mm -hmm. and man, she just took control of the stage. And so now I have this opportunity to understand the brains behind Lonnie Love. Well, I mean, for all you customer service people, customer service and being a comedian it, and using Twitter is kind of like one and the same because with comedy, what I depend on is people to come to see my shows, um, to come and look at me on television, and Twitter is a great way for me to get fans to come and see me. Um, the thing that I use Twitter for is one, um, I give them like a good morning inspiration joke. Aww. People love that. And then I turn around and I may give them like a schedule of what I'm doing for that day. Um, I give them a joke or maybe a, a funny article. And then people start retweeting it or people may give their little funny jokes. And I pick and choose who I may want to retweet or say, give a response to. And for some reason, like I started Twitter in like June of this year. Oh my God, you're brand new, girl. And you I'm got like 8,000? And I got 8,000 people. Freaking me. I mean, I only have 3,000. I'm kind of jealous here, but, yeah, th but th you're that's, funny, so that's But that's, that's because, you know, people started seeing like the inspiration. They started seeing the jokes. And so then they retweeted their people and then their people started following me. And then I do answer people back. And it's like, you know, the, th the most important thing about customer service is people want to feel like they're valued. And yep. you know what? You get that opportunity on Twitter. I mean, yes, we're in the entertainment business. You may be in the customer service business. Whatever business that you're in, people got to feel like you care about them. That's right. And it only takes a second. Like what I do maybe um, within a week, I'll look at different tweets, and I may answer four or five people. And you cannot imagine what I get back. Oh, thank you, Lonnie, for you know answering me. I know you're busy. I know you're this, but you answered me. And then they put that on their you know tweet, and then so then they're friends, and it's like we become a family. But I do it because I like to. I do it because I like to help people. And my whole purpose in being a comedian is to make people laugh. I want to make people forget about their problems for a while. And you know, Twitter is helping me to spread my message, and I just love it. So you know. If you're in customer service, if you're doing that, you have to remember, you know, the customer is always first, and your customers are those Twitter recipients. You know, be nice to them, respond to them, you know, give them the, the motivation that they need, and, you, you know, you'll be fabulous. You'll have a million followers like everybody else. Well, I think that's really the key. I think you've touched on something is that customers want to feel appreciated. They want mm -hmm. to feel needed. They want to feel a part of it. And mm -hmm. when you were speaking, you know, it, I really got the sense that, like, in being a celebrity, people want to know about your life. They want to be a part of what you're doing. They want to understand you. And it's really, I really see the similarities between being a celebrity and really creating a fan base with respect to your customers because it's the same thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, whatever you do, if, whatever, if you're selling something, if you're trying out a product, this is the thing. I am at a certain level in my career, and people feel like they're invested in me. I mean, if they see me on a show, I'll, I'll tweet, I'm going to be on this show. Then they give their response, you were great, Lonnie. You Aww. were this, you were that, you were that. I just did the Emmy red carpet for the first time ever. How fun. And the thing is, what I tweeted was, I tweeted just a little bit of the process. You know, I had a designer make my dress. The day of the Emmys, the dress was not ready. And I kept tweeting that the dress is not ready. It's 6 a.m. You know, I mean, that's got to freak anybody yeah, out. And, see, now we yeah. get to see the real life of exactly. a real celebrity. Exactly. We get to know it isn't all perfect. Is it? No, it and is it's not, not always happy. It's not. But it's like, okay, so this is, this is the reality. It's being authentic. It's being mm -hmm. genuine. It's being direct, mm -hmm. and I think that's what, why people love you. It's because it's mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is, is that when the dress got done, I made sure to tweet people. It's ten o'clock. The dress is done. I'm putting it on. I'm going to the Emmys. And you know, then when people were able to see it, I told them the exact time I would be on the air, so they were able to actually see it. They saw the dress. They were like, "Oh my God, you're beautiful!" Now they Aww. feel like they're vested. It's like it's a story within a story, and right. that's what you do with customer service you make people and you you're not trying to brag i'm not trying oh i'm at the enemies and i that wasn't it that right. wasn't my purpose my purpose is to take them through because one thing is that there are a lot of people out there that are into business into different situations
situations. And, you know, you can use the same procedures, you know, to, to apply to your business or whatever you're trying to do. And you're like, wow, look at what Lonnie Love had to do, and this is what I need to do. So that's the reason why I do it. And then when I was at the Emmys, there were, like, I met Ryan Seacrest. I, met, I meet people that people see on TV, and they see him just on TV. Right. But I commented how nice he was to me. I commented that Kim Kardashian's dress was torn, and we didn't know what was going to happen. And it's like people are like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And it's like, and, but this is real-life situations. And the thing is, is that, you know, I'm a diverse person, and I'm speaking from a whole different point of view, and people, you know, can get to see that, you know, what I'm talking about is real, and that's what customer service is about. That's what entertainment is about. People are, just feel like when they're vested in you, they will be with you forever. If you make a mistake, people will tell me, you know what, Lonnie, you made a mistake, but that's okay. Cause we love you, you. We love you, and we know you didn't mean to say this, or you, or you did great, or next time you'll do better. Don't worry about it. I need that. And Everybody I'm, needs that. You know, and the thing is, too, being Feedback, a, feedback, feedback, feedback. How do we get it, better? It makes you better. Nobody tells us. That's right. Hello, if nobody companies, tells you, don't talk like that or don't do all that. All this, yeah. Yeah, and that's what you use Twitter for. People don't understand. It's not just to sit and say nice things. Or I wash my cat. Right. right. Who cares? Yeah, it's like nobody cares you're drinking tea on a Sunday reading the paper. It's like it's you can really use this as a tool, and it's free. I mean, I, I know tell, it's isn't that amazing. No apps to buy. I don't understand. If you are in business, if you are in entertainment, if you are in something where you depend on people as your business, as as your source of of, of income, if you're not on Twitter, you you're not winning. You're not winning. You so can't win. You and, can't. And I think that you're like. One of the forerunners that's really getting this point mm -hmm. is that you're on the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't get this yet, mm -hmm. but I'll see you again in five years here at this conference, and we'll <laughs> do another interview, and we'll be like dancing in the street, right? Because mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. get it. I and have five million views. I'm like, I'm like, remember when I only had eighty-five thousand, yeah. and right. we were talking about we're at the first Twitter convention ever, and everybody was talking about how it's a nerd convention and everything. Well, you know, I've been twittering about the convention all day, and everybody's wow, you know, and they're like, I wish I was there. You know, and so it's something that's going to build and build. But if you're in customer service, if you're in a business, you really need to learn to use Twitter. It may it's unusual right now because you're not used to it. Right, you have to get used to it. Once you get used to it, you're like, what have I been? And it's free. <laughs> I know that's it's like, the it's best free. price. It's right. not you. All you got to do is put your name, a password, and say boom, and it's free. People, I know. <laughs> do it or, or, or give it up. You know, I think, Lonnie, you to me are like the Zappos of comedy. <laughs> you are the end all be all. You got it. You totally get people. You get what your fans love. And girl, you rock. Oh, thank you so much. You're and welcome. good luck out there. Twitter. Yes. If Lonnie can do it and I can do it, you can do it. So be brave and follow us. Follow us. Lonnie Love, L O N I L O V E. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> that was good. You know, like, I was listening. I'm like, oh, I need to do that. <laughs> Here's my card. Thank you, Dr. Natalie. Oh, another doctor. Look at you. And follow me and I'll follow you. So, yes, you I know, think I did follow, I follow you. you so. Thank you so much. That was nice. Thank you for asking me. Yeah, thank so. you. Because, you know, I got, like, technical people, and I'm like, oh, Yeah, they're all like, yeah, they're beautiful. I know. There's too many minutes. Sorry. That's recorded. Oh, shit. <laughs>